Welcome to the Power BI Custom Visuals class. My name is Devin Knight. I'll be the instructor for this course as we go through a look at all of the custom visuals that Power BI has to offer. These will be several very short modules that give you a peek at each of the different custom visuals and walks you through how you can configure them in addition to how you can also do things like formatting. In this first module, we're going to talk about custom visuals and really an introduction to what custom visuals are. And you'll also see how you can add custom visuals to your toolbox, to your visualization pane inside the Power BI desktop. All right, so what are custom visuals? Well, custom visuals are ways that you can really extend what Power BI can do. So Power BI has a set of visuals that come with it by default, but if you really want to take it to the next level or add in new types of visualizations but that aren't there by default, then you can extend it by going to download your own custom visuals through the visualization gallery. And I'm going to show you here in a moment how to go find that visualization gallery and where you can go download visuals from. I'll also show you in this module how you can add those custom visuals to your Power BI desktop. Now the custom visual that you'll find in this gallery, some of them are developed by Microsoft, some of them are developed by the community, and there's many of them that are available that do some really fantastic things. I think you'll really like them. As you download and import them into your Power BI desktop, you will note that you get special warnings that pop up that let you know that, hey, this is not part of the tool. You are importing a visualization that someone else has developed and that you should be aware that these are outside products that you're basically using here. All right, so first things first, let's go walk you through how you can download a custom visual. You'll see I have the link there on the bottom, the visual, visuals uh, gallery. And uh, if you want to do this, you can walk through this with me, certainly. And what we're going to do is we're going to go download a visual, and then I'm going to show you through how you can actually add that visual to the Power BI desktop. So first things first, I'm going to launch open a web browser, and I'm going to go to visuals.powerbi.com. And that's uh, similar to the link that I had in the slideshow. The slideshow actually redirects, or th this link redirects to that uh, URL that I had in the slideshow but you're going to go to app.powerbi.com slash visuals is where it redirects you to. Once you make it to the visualization gallery, you'll see there's all sorts of visuals here that you can download and that you're able to choose from. Many of them out here are actually developed by Microsoft, but others are developed by partners and others as well. So once you find a visualization that you really would like, say for example, this first one that's uh, on the very bottom, this Enlightened Aquarium, you can select it. And then you can choose that you want to download it by selecting Download Visual. Many of these also include a sample where you can download a sample to see how you can exactly use this. But that's also what we're going to be doing in this class. I'll be provi providing you samples that you can use and leverage, including the data sources as well. All right, so we're going to go ahead and select to download this visual. So I'll select Download Visual. It does give you a little warning here and says that the visual is published and licensed by the Power BI community membership. So to be aware of that, it's not licensed or supported by Microsoft. So it's not supported by Microsoft is the key thing there. And uh, once you are uh, read through this, you can go ahead and click I agree to download. It will download on your machine as it's doing for me right now. And then your next step is to actually bring this into the Power BI desktop. So once it's downloaded, I suggest that you put it into some, some kind of a central spot where you can easily find it. Don't just leave it in your downloads folder. Move it somewhere where you can easily find it later. And then once you have that all set, you can go over to the Power BI desktop application, which I have open right here. You can close open the Getting Started experience. This is just the Getting Started screen. If you're brand new to Power BI, you can read through this, but uh, we're assuming you've at least opened Power BI desktop in the past. And so I'm going to close out the Getting Started screen. And if I want to add in a custom visual, there's really two ways that you can do it. If you want to add in a custom visual, you can come over here where it says, uh, visualizations, and you'll see this little ellipsis here. That's one way you can add in and import files or import custom visuals. Or the other way is that you can go to your file menu, and if you go to File, Import, you'll see that there's an option here to import a Power BI custom visual. The way that you'll likely do this more, most often, because you're just working with this visualizations pane a lot, is you'll probably just come over here and hit Import from File. And it does prompt you again. It does warn you that there are some security concerns. People are creating this code that aren't Microsoft. Uh, so you should be aware that you uh, trust the author and source. If you do, you can hit Import, and then select the visualization that you want to use. In this case, what we downloaded just a moment ago was the one called Aquarium. So I could select Aquarium here and hit Open. Once you do that, you'll get a little message here that says the import of that visual was done successfully. And you can sit, hit OK on that. And you'll now see an icon appear inside the visualizations pane that shows that new custom visual. And as you select that, it will add it just like any other visual that you've done in the past. Okay? So in this first module, what you saw and what you learned was how to actually download a custom visual. And then once that custom visual is downloaded, how do you import it into the Power BI desktop? 
and our next set of modules will look more closely at each individual visualization and we'll talk about them more in depth.